everyone, so I'm going to be upfront and honest and uh, tell you that this is going to be a ranty video because I've already started this about three times now and I don't want to do it again and I've got a lot to say and I'll try and make it as clear and concise as possible. So although I do a lot of tutorial videos, some of it is for personal and some of it is to sell in my business, but I also predominantly sell um, vintage pre-owned unique items of clothing. So I don't just go to a wholesaler and buy absolutely loads of stuff, it's just one-off pieces that are all different sizes and weights. I've had my own business since 2012 and it, things have been generally great apart from the postage issue. And to ship my items I use Royal Mail more than anything else. I've used my Hermes and InPost and other things in the past but I always go back to Royal Mail because I find it's just a simpler way of doing things, you don't have to print off an address label, there's always a post office around any corner really and I'm flexible enough to take my parcels with me wherever I go so if I go on holiday tomorrow to my shop off I can take um, I can just pack my bags and just go um, to Cornwall let's say and take my work with me so I can go to the post office and say right I've got these to post and done and I've done that before but there is a price to it now in 2013 Royal Mail changed their large letter small parcel um, rules. Before, apparently you weren't allowed to help the parcels through at all, but in 2013 they changed it where um, the staff had to pull it through. And I use postal grey plastic bags, some of them do have air in them, and just a gentle pull and it, it goes through. Some parcels, like this one, is obviously a small parcel, and I accept that, but generally I found the new rule change is not being practiced at every branch. And often, somebody at will, this has happened so many times, somebody will put the parcel on top of the template, obviously this is a small parcel, and they'll just wiggle it like that and say, I'm not allowed to pull it through at all, I'm not allowed to help it, and you'll end up paying from around £1.51 uh, to £2.80. It jumps up automatically to £2.80 if it's a small parcel second class. And I was just so sick of the inconsistencies, I asked for a letter, which I got one, and then I lost it annoyingly. And so last week, I found this is still happening again. So I've just had to make a 10 minute journey out of my way, probably about three miles, and I'm pretty damn annoyed. I had 11 parcels um, in my bag at the back, and I'd categorized them to a large letter and small parcel. And uh, today I thought, well, um, it started to snow and I thought I'm gonna come out and it's probably about it's, it's dead on 12 So I thought I'm gonna just go to the post office now before um, I get snowed in just in case and the very first parcel um, Which was this one which is definitely a large letter um, She helped she popped it um, On top of her uh, template, you know that posty thing that you put through and said, oh, it's meant to drop through. This is definitely a small parcel. So I'm gonna test another post office because I know this should be a large letter. And I said, you know what? Um, I'll have it back. Um, I'm gonna go elsewhere because normally if you have a problem right from the start, it's gonna be a nightmare with the rest of them. And there's gonna be so many people across the country getting charged, overcharged for what is a large letter and a small parcel. And I wish it was a lot more transparent because obviously I have an eBay business selling vintage and secondhand clothes. And if I'm charging a customer £1.51 to send something second class large letter, I don't want to be forking out an extra £1 odd um, to upgrade to a small parcel when I've charged them for a large letter. So I'm gonna take it to my other one and just show you that it's gonna probably go through as a large letter. Sometimes I don't even bother putting it through the template. And, um, and that really annoys me and I've, Sometimes when I've just been too tired and I've just oh sod it, just send it. And I really shouldn't be putting up with it. So let's go. So this is the particular example of a large letter and some small parcels, which are very big. They definitely don't, don't go through. So I've got 11 parcels in total. I'm gonna to take them. So I got a, another letter in the post it's laminated, but funnily enough, when I rang Royal Mail, sorry, when I rang the post office, they agreed with um, the fact that you're not meant to pull it through at all, but Royal Mail said, oh no, no, that's changed. So you can see my predicament, they're not even agreeing with each other. So some staff are probably getting trained one way and others are getting trained the proper way. And because I sell clothes 
I do like to squash them down as much as I can and actually sellotape the vents to keep the air out. That way I can make sure it goes through as a large letter, if not it's a small parcel and I'll use my template provided. But because over the last three years up to date there's still been discrepancies from branch to branch, I got so sick of it and I asked people on Facebook in a saving money um, uh, group and once a load of people put their answers together there were a lot of conflicting answers. Now I've written a blog post, it's really really um, in depth, I've kept it as short as possible so you can go and have a look at those answers below, I'll leave the link uh, there and uh, you can also get a copy of the letter with my address and that um, cut out. But if you're having the same problem, please go and uh, get a copy of this. It could save you a lot of money. But the reason I've decided to make this video is because I don't want to talk about this ever again. I don't want to have to um, contest it at a counter because you will look like a criminal. And I might sound like a total whinger, but I'm not whinging over the sake of £1.29 um, around that per item. If that happened to all of my large letters per year, then it could actually equate to up to £1,677, which is a hell of a lot of money to a small business owner. So before I go, I'm going to read a section of this letter just so it can just clarify everything about a large letter and a small parcel, and hopefully this will never happen to me or you again. And if you want to share this video, please do, because I really want to put a stop to it. So it says, I can confirm that the item of mail must be able to go through the slot of the template by pushing it through with your fingertips and then pulling it through from the other side. So do I think it's fair that raw mail put prices up at the end of March each year? No, I don't. I get bitter about it every year because I know this is happening behind the scenes. I feel like they're getting money that they shouldn't be getting. So uh, yeah, I needed to get that off my chest. If you want to comment below, please do. I'm just absolutely fed up of it. I'm sick of even hearing about a large letter and a small parcel. Generally, they are more consistent and reliable when it comes to delivering people's parcels. And this is the only aspect that I want them to change. So why can't they just retrain all of their members of staff and clearly put this on their website? Because I had to dig deep. I had to ring them up to find out the rules. It's not anywhere online. You can't find it at all. And even the two head officers of theirs um, don't agree with each other. Right, rant over. So yeah, please comment below and uh, give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more, but I'll probably be doing more tutorials. Right, thanks for watching. Bye.